Hey, Pastor Nate Jackson here with On Mission Living. Thank you for joining us today. Listen, this is going to be a very special video, short video, but very special to us. This is the very first, the inaugural, right? The very first video episode of Just Us. It'll be a vlog that we've put together that will take the place of uh, news updates and opinions. It'll take the place of a couple of things. We're streamlining On Mission Living, uh, upgrading, updating, and very, very excited about where we're going. Listen, if you're interested in, in Cheryl and I and On Mission Living and what's going on with our church and our life, our family, or just want to just basically be kept up because you've supported us in the past, you're a prayer partner with us now, in any one of those things, if they're of interest to you, this is going to be a powerful video. We're going to lay out exactly what On Mission Living is about through our social channels and everything we're doing. Uh, it's gonna be, again, we'll try to keep it concise and quick, but very much detailed today. This is gonna be an important one. If you're interested in anything God's doing through our lives, you don't wanna miss this. Stay tuned. Hey, Pastor Nate Jackson with On Mission Living, back here to go through what we were calling, what I've announced as the very first episode of Just Us, not Justice, just us, right? Which is kind of like it says. And we'll explain more of that in just a minute. Hey, quick disclaimer, quick disclosure, right? As most of you know, listen, I am a preacher. Uh, I am a pastor. I am a missionary. Uh, Cheryl and I have been missionaries. We are missionaries. And I'm an online Bible teacher, right? Online Bible teacher and discipler through On Mission Living and through this platform. Uh, I am not an online guru. Make full disclosure of that. Never claim to be. Never want to be. Uh, I just am a committed follower of Jesus Christ, called and commissioned by God to live and to share what it means to live on mission for Christ, hence the name On Mission Living, right? Um, that said, listen, Cheryl and I are missionaries. We have been missionaries. We've been overseas missionaries. We came to Pendleton, Oregon as missionaries, and we believe we are still on call as missionaries. I don't personally believe that call ever goes away, right? So we are missionaries. We've come to Pendleton. People have asked, do you live there? We do live here. We pastor here full time. Uh, it is a powerful church. God is doing incredible things in this little town. Uh, and we've seen God use this little town and all the big things he's doing here in people's lives to impact people all over the world. Super excited to be serving him here and serving his people. Um, that said, listen, we still consider ourselves missionaries. Uh, we are older than we were nine years ago. We were in the Philippines. We don't believe for one second God is done with us. Uh, he's been super faithful to us then and now. And we believe if he's going to tarry and give us more time, we believe we've got 10, 12, 15 more years we want to finish strong, right? Serving the king. God has merged us with missionaries and missionary projects around the world, even today, that we are still very much partners with, right? We are prayer partners. We are financial partners. Uh, we are in the mix with them. Uh, we believe even though we're in, on American soil, we are in the trenches with them to get the gospel and the reach and discipleship around the world to the glory of God. So with that in mind, On Mission Living is not just what does it mean to live on mission in the States or here locally in a local church, but On Mission Living is what it looks like around the world. And we believe we're called to be a part of that and to share with that. And, and this is where I guess I want to just clarify once and for all, because several people have asked. Uh, there is a, a store or a place to shop, right? What does that look like on our main website? Why is that there? That doesn't make sense. You're a pastor. Uh, you're not a marketer. Listen, here's the, here's the scope of it. Every penny, I say again, every penny that On Mission Living receives, whether it's by donation, just straight up pure support, uh, whether it's by buying something, a cap, a hat, uh, some of the gifts we're going to be giving away, the prizes here in a little bit, not today, but soon. Um, those are all, whatever the markup is, if it's a $5 thing or a $10 thing or a $50 thing, whatever the markup is, every penny that is brought into On Mission Living, listen, goes to the mission projects and partners of On Mission Living, right? All On Mission Living ministry is missional. It is missions based. So just know that going in. So if you support us, if you begin to support us again monthly for mission projects that Cheryl and I are involved in, or you want to support us monthly because you want every dime of it to go to our mission partners, uh, that is perfectly okay and it is perfectly acceptable. Every nickel that comes in, every nickel, uh, we are paid full time to do what we do outside of On Mission Living and every nickel will be, be used and, and is specifically committed to the missional efforts of On Mission Living and our partners all over the world. So Anyway, just know that going in. In fact, in November, Cheryl and I are planning and praying prayerfully about uh, just recently. We made the decision prayerfully to go to Jamaica. Uh, there's an orphanage there, uh, multiple buildings of orphanages uh, that we're going to go and help and actually help build a facility, a home for a, an orphan that is being reconnected and transitioned into an adoptive home uh, that wouldn't happen otherwise. And then we're going to get to know those orphanages and the people that serve there and support them and encourage them and let them know they've got partners all over the world, right? So that's even in November. So even though we're not planning on moving to Jamaica, we are planning on going for 10 days and being the hands and feet of Christ, Lord willing, and, uh, and we're excited about that. So if you want to partner with that, again, well, there'll be more information down the road. 
Uh, but just know that you can do that through, through this ministry. Um, so going in, listen, why on Mission Living, right? We've been asked that a lot because, uh, again, it's not what I do full-time. It's not what we do full-time. Why on Mission Living? Why the platforms? Why the social media? Why the videos? There's a few reasons that I'm going to give them to you quickly. Number one, number one, and without a doubt, probably the number one, is it solid, in context, unadulterated, unwatered down, Bible teaching and preaching, right? In context, listen, is getting harder and harder to find in our world, right? Even online. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of teachers and preachers of claiming to be Bible teachers. Now, there's some good ones. Make no mistake, there's some amazing guys that really make me look bad if we were just trying to go apples to apples. But I'm telling you that the volume of people that are actually teaching the Word of God in context, preaching the Word of God in context, spirit-filled, spirit-anointed, it is getting harder and harder to find. Because, again, we live in a world where, unfortunately, I'm, this is not the purpose of this video, but entertaining is more pressing and more, more in demand than Bible teaching in, in, in some cases, right? And emotional uh, uh, teaching and seductive teachings, and it just goes on and on and on. And because of that, listen, I have looked, right? That's what spurred this two years ago. I began to look for encouragement myself as a pastor. There's pastors all over the world that need encouragement, need teaching, need discipleship, need to learn how to be refreshed and how to disciple other people. Listen, it's hard to find. It is hard to find a consistently on track, truthful, safe place where you know it's a trusted site and you know they're going to teach the Word of God straight up, unadulterated, in context. It's hard to find. And because of that, listen, that was my number one thing that God used in my heart to know that this is what I needed to do in addition to what I normally do to make this available to people anywhere in the world, right? So that's number one, solid Bible teaching. Number two is that God has begun to use on-mission living as a missional kingdom tool, meaning Meaning that, man, this is so much past what I knew originally, but we're super excited about this. Meaning that we have begun to develop discipleship material, right? Discipleship training material that is so needed. Man, alive. Every church I've ever been a part of, every place I've ever gone, the discipleship training is never, you always, even if you find some decent stuff, it's never all right. right? It's like it's always missing something. It's always less than what we need at that moment. And I would tell you that, listen, as a pastor, we have long wanted discipleship material, especially in video format, that we could share with other people and, and, and spread the gospel, right? Spread discipleship training that was legit. There's some good stuff out there. So if it becomes this, this effort to keep it just in your church or just in your seminars or just in your books, and, and all obviously for money purposes, typically. So again, this is not the purpose for this. This is important that you hear that. This is God is giving us a platform where we can develop solid Bible in context, discipleship training via video and audio. And we're real excited about it. So that's number two. Number three is missions. I've already kind of covered that. Uh, man, we have a, a missions platform here like we've never had before. Uh, we believe that God is just going to continue to grow it. God has merged us with so many amazing people around the world in missions that we, we feel uh, one with, we feel in sync with. We, are, we have a, a common goal and a common spirit, right? The spirit of God in us and them is merged, and we support them. We, we pray for them. We support them. And a big part of this is that they don't, where we're talking about, they don't do this. So as a result, we have felt like we need to stand in the gap for them help raise people's awareness of them because just like with Bible teaching and Bible preaching that has become watered down and sadly it ends up being false teachings and false doctrines and it gets harder and harder to find the solid right stuff, I would tell you that in missions it's the same. Missions has become a thing that the churches do. Well, we've come to believe and still do and more now than ever that the church, biblically, in context, are the people of God. It's not a building, it's not a denomination, it's not a name on a sign, it's the people of God. And I would tell you that everywhere we go now, the people of God, when you ask them about missions and what God is doing in their heart for other people here and overseas and around the world to get the gospel out, what are you doing? In every, almost every case, people say, oh, no, I give at church, I tithe, I give offerings, and we, in, at the, as a church, we support. Listen, nothing wrong with that. Hear me, nothing wrong with that. But if you can't tell me who you're praying for and you can't tell me who you're supporting and you can't tell me the missions and the things that God's doing in those locales, I would tell you we're disconnected, right? And this On Mission Living platform has been something that God has raised up that we believe we are the conduit, right? We're, we're going to be a, a, a force, not us, but Him, through this means, right? To share and update and keep people on their knees praying for these men and women around the world and when possible and when He leads you to support even financially on a project basis. Listen, we raised no glory, all God's, right? All glory to God. Uh, God stirred us once again here just a few weeks ago, end of last year. There was a typhoon hit the Philippines where we had served and ministered. Uh, the need was great. The Aati people that we just loved, their homes had been wiped out. Listen, 
It was an amazing thing. Pastor Rocky, who had, was working with us, the object, we were working with him. Uh, where he's at now, he's planting a second church and was building it physically with a skeleton crew and a skeleton pocketbook, to be honest. And God broke our hearts for both. And we put the plea out to our church. We put the plea out as a, as a partnership with our church, with PCOG and On Mission Living. And listen, it was amazing, right? We ended up having, man, if we'd have raised $500 for each need, in, in, in support. It would have been just such an over-the-top glorious thing. And listen, we ended up having the privilege. The, our church, God just rocked our church. And they, I can't even tell you, man. God just, God touched people's hearts. I can't even, I can't even describe it. And we were able to send to the glory of God over $4,000 to each ministry, each mission ministry, right? Both. It was just over the top. And, and so now there are Ati people with, with better structured homes and, and, a, and a church in, in Lausanne that is Man, they didn't have the ability to be finished, and now they're finishing it. Listen, it, all to the glory of God. And, and why was that? It's because God broke our hearts here. And so those people there that desperately need to know God's faithfulness, they know. You know why they know? Because they cried out to the Lord. God touched our hearts to be a partner with him to do that. Listen, and God answered those prayers. So this is a conduit. This is number three, missions. This is what we're about on mission living, right? So real quick, part of the stuff we've done is we have... We have tried, because there's just so much involved in this, we've tried our best to consolidate to, because we want to keep it low profile, right? We want to, we're not, we're not a big deal. We just want to be providing what God asks us to provide. So here's the thing. There's seven, seven, <laughs> seven areas of ministry through On Mission Living that we're going to focus on. Uh, it's, a, it's what we're supposed to do. There's probably other great things being done elsewhere. That's not what God's asked us to do. This is the thing, right? So number one, real fast, seven things. Number one is in context Bible preaching and teaching. We've already covered that, right? There'll be video posts and audio posts once a week on Mondays, our weekend experience at PCOG. We've partnered with them. So there's going to be Bible teaching and preaching in context, right? Um, that'll be provided every Monday afternoon on, on Mission Living YouTube site, right? So it'll be posted, it'll be posted and also connected to our church. So it's a, an amazing merger and collaboration between the two. That's every Monday, once a week, right? So that's gonna be ongoing. Uh, number two is Bible training and teaching discipleship. We touched on that earlier. Uh, it's going to be an incredible open door for us to be available and to be a ministry tool for people all over the world, hopefully, uh, and for sure, everybody that needs it. We're calling the first, one of the first major works that is not available yet, but it's coming, it's called Steps. Uh, that I'm putting together right now is on Mission Living. It's putting together it's discipleship training. Again, I've pastored multiple churches and every church I've ever been in and every pastor I've ever talked to desperately wanted this, right? Desperately wanted what we're about to provide and make available through On Mission Living. It's called Steps. It's a three-part discipleship series. The first is First Steps. It'll be like a 101 course, like pre everything from kicking the tire, trying to decide about following Jesus, all the way to accepting Christ as your Savior. What's that look like? And then your very first steps as a kingdom person on mission, him being your king, right? What's that look like? That's first steps, we call it. That's the first one. It'd be several short videos. Uh, number two is the second part is next steps, right? It'd be like a 201 course. So if the first level, if, if first steps was an entry level or infancy, if you will, in the, in the spiritual journey of growth, this would be like growing into a young adult, right? Growing into an adult life, right? Which is deeper, richer in Christ. What does that look like? Uh, what is it to, to begin to understand his word? What is it to grow in the grace and knowledge of Christ? What is it to, to step into a deeper training as a disciple of Jesus, right? And lastly, shared steps. So first steps, next steps, and shared steps. And that'd be like a 301 course. So again, dealing with the personal growth. It'd be infancy, adulthood, right? And then parenting. I hope that makes sense, right? So the 301 course would be more in-depth training. Uh, again, more about being a disciple who makes disciples. More about living on mission and what that looks like, right? Across the board. Super excited about these things. They will be best we can. And I mean this. If I can, we want to keep these free. Uh, it's a lot of time and effort put into making them, um, but I'm excited about this because, again, everywhere I've ever been, we needed this, right? We needed this. We needed this resource. So we're going to try to make that available to the body of Christ. Uh, your support is welcome, but just know uh, we're super blessed to be asked of God to do this and to provide this not just for pastors, but teachers and, and people on mission all over the world, right? Um, these study courses, right, these next what we're calling steps, We'll all have study workbooks with them. So if you want to take this as your small group, you want to use this in your church or wherever you're at, you're welcome to do that. And it'll be, again, it'll be great resources. Uh, again, all of them will come with completion certificates. If you want them, that'll be optional. Uh, again, this is the next piece that's just now about to start in our church. And we're really excited to be able to partner with them for this. And that is inductive Bible studies, right? Inductive Bible studies. Some of you are, are very familiar with it. Most of us are not. Uh, I would tell you that most pastors and teachers, if they're in-depth Bible teachers, they are doing their own personal study inductively, which is the all the questions, right? When you go into the text, you're asking who wrote it, who who actually penned it. We know it was authored by the Holy Spirit. When was it penned? 
Why was it penned? Who was the audience? What was the purpose? And not just what does this one proof texted verse say, but what does it say for the previous two chapters and the previous two chapters and, and the post two chapters? What is he really saying in context? And I would tell you, it just unlocks. It's the key that unlocks the door of our hearts and the Holy Spirit just swarms you. It just lifts the, lifts the, the text off the page and it's all done through what we call, we're not the first ones to call it that, but it's inductive Bible studies, right? Just a real rich depth. In understanding the scriptures. So a lot of people that have read the Bible through several times in their walk, and especially new converts trying to figure out, you open up the book, where do you start? How do you start? What do you begin to do? All of that's going to be answered in this study. We're going to have videos that will teach you how to do it. And then if you want to walk with us in the journey along with our church and other ministries here, we'll teach you how to do it, how to do it well, and then how to teach others to do it, right? And it's going to be exciting all through On Mission Living. I hope that, I hope that sparks a fire in your heart right now. Uh, also, all the steps, there's other helpful things that we'll be doing uh, and providing for free. Uh, right now, for instance, there's a very small e-booklet uh, called Three-Step Bible Study Guide. Uh, it's a free a free resource. If you're new to Christ or you're uh, really maybe you're trying to just get rekindled, reignited into studying the Word again, it's a great resource. It's just some stuff that I've used and that we teach. Uh, I would encourage you to get it. It's free. Go into our website, onmissionliving.com. Um, literally register, subscribe right to our blog, On Mission Living, and it's free. Right? You just download it. So it's really available to anybody. Hopefully that'll help you. Number three with our focus on, on mission living is QBT, right? Quick Bible Truth. Now this has taken shape. This is morphed. But we try to follow the Lord in this. Um, this is going to be different than we've ever done before. Uh, QBT took a different shape to begin with and it's completely being overhauled, right? Transformed. QBT is going to be videos. Daily Devo videos, right? Quick Bible Truth videos and it'll be devotional videos there'll be short four to eight minute videos right and what you can hit catch them before work there can be there'll be an audio format too so you can listen to them on the way to work four to eight minutes not going to be extensive but they're going to be power packed and it's going to be five days a week again devotional style but not your hey here's a verse here's what i think good luck with that it's going to be more powerful more answering questions that are real more real time real stuff stuff that matters life stuff and what does the word say about it right we're going to be dealing with all kinds of stuff but again we will be putting it out Monday through Friday. And I'm going to be honest with you, somewhere probably mid-summer, uh, I've been told by several people that this is such an extensive work that we need to charge something for this for the, for the, by subscription only. So people will subscribe to it and get a Monday through Friday videos, you know, four to eight minutes every day. Um, and, and we might do that. We're still praying about that. If I can make it available free forever, we will. That's not my point. We would welcome your, your support. But that's really our heart is to keep it free. For sure, between when it starts here in a couple of weeks, I think April 1st, we plan to kick the first ones out. Um, when it starts, it'll be free for sure. Um, we may ask you to subscribe, but it'll be a free subscription, right? So <clears throat> I would encourage you to jump on board, take advantage of that, kick the tire, right? See what you think. I trust it'll be a blessing to you. We believe the, the, the beta test, if you will, on the front side is that people need this, right? People need something a little bit. There's some really good shallow stuff out there that's just good. It's just, it's just good. And then there's stuff that's so deep and so strong, it takes you two hours to get through it. I would tell you this is going to be meeting in the middle, right? This is going to be powerful, power-packed, short, quick. Man, let the Holy Spirit do what he does, right? That's what the design is. So that's coming up too. That's coming up next. Number four, Q&A questions, right? We've redone our opinions piece and various other things. We're putting it all into a Q&A questions uh, video series, we're calling it, right? An ongoing series. So two to four times a month, two to four times a month, your questions, right? Your questions that you send in to us, we will begin to answer with biblical support and what, what the answer is. So you want to know what the Bible says about We'll be dealing with everything you can imagine. Everything from, man, just life in general, marriage, uh, you know, trusting people, fears, worries, worry on the job. How do you hold a job down and serve the Lord? What about foreign missions? We'll be covering everything. You ask about it, we'll be giving you Bible support for the answer, right? So that's Q&A questions, and that's going to be an ongoing series. Again, two to four times a month, and down the road it might become once a week, but for sure now for the workload, we've got several questions already coming in. Please send us your questions, right? It doesn't have to be stumped the stump the the bible guy right because that's not my heart at all uh be i'd be pretty easy to stump to be honest uh, but but the word of god has some rich answers and i would encourage you if you've got stuff that's on your heart stuff you've been praying about you like i just don't have an answer i don't have a good answer i've been hearing answers here and there but i don't have something really like is this what the word says listen if that's a question shoot it to me right support at onmissionliving.com support at onmissionliving.com shoot me a, shoot me a line i'm at the other end of that email just let me know what the question is, and we'll do our best to put it in, this, in, the, in the queue, and we'll do our best to get it out to you and be part of this Q&A questions as soon as possible, right? Number five, BVA series. We've already kind of begun this. It kind of is still taking shape. It's Bible verses about. Uh, we will talk about everything. Bible verses about worry. Bible verses about faith. Bible verses about work. Bible verses about foul language, right? We're going to, we've got an ongoing 
uh, arsenal of things that I think will be incredibly powerful to you, incredibly powerful to the people you're trying to lead to Christ or trying to grow in Christ. Uh, again, this will probably, our target here is once a week. For sure, again, initially two to four times a month. So uh, BVA, be looking for those Bible verses about, again, encouragement, strengthening. It's about keeping you on mission, right? Keeping you on mission. Number six, there's two more. Number six is Just Us. That's this, right? Just Us blog. This one's going to be a little longer because we're kind of revealing what's been done and what is being done. But it'll be once a week. Typically on Wednesdays is our target, right? So subscribe for that. It's a Just Us blog. Uh, it'll give you up updates, inside stories on Cheryl and I, updates on our mission stuff and what's going on, updates on the latest in church, our adventures, what's coming up. Uh, it'll be hopefully quick and powerful all under 10 minutes after this one. Uh, and it'll be just us, and it'll hopefully keep you up to speed, right? It's going to be real personal but direct. And lastly, number seven, and we've already really covered this, and that's missions, right? Missions, updates, and projects. Uh, we will be trying to be a force for the kingdom, right? God just anointed us to give us this opportunity to be the go-between, the connection, uh, both for Cheryl and I to go, at least on short term, and to support these folks that are in the trenches seven days a week where they're at, right? Um, so again, once a month at least, and sometimes two, depending on the projects, we will be coming out with updates and videos, missions, updates, and, and the projects that are going on so you know how to pray, who to pray for, and what God's doing, and what, what we can partner with, right? It's a privilege to partner with these people in prayer, to partner with them financially. Listen, it is a joy to see God answer those incredible prayers all over the world and know that we had a small piece of that, right? We didn't answer it. God did, but he did it through even us, and that's my heart, right? So that's it for this. This is a that's just a, like the overhaul and over uh, overview, if you will, of everything that God's been doing lately and what he's got us doing. I have one more quick update, and then hopefully this will answer some of your questions. Several have asked about the prize drawing that I kind of made reference to about a week or so ago. Uh, it's kind of just left it in limbo. That wasn't to be ornery or to dangle a carrot, right? I want to explain quickly. Um, there will be a prize drawing, and it's going to be amazing. We have delayed it a couple of weeks, and here's why. We have partnered with even my wife and some other people to provide even more gifts and prizes that we're going to be giving away. Right now, it looks like the value of the prizes will be upwards of about $500 in total. So I trust it's going to be worth, worth the wait. Some of you are like, Pastor, what are you doing? Are you, are you raising money for a missions thing? The answer is yes. Uh, but more importantly, it's not about raising money because we're not charging any money, right? It doesn't cost you a nickel to, to enter this for this prize drawing. And here's, let me explain so we get this out of the way right now. Real important. I have, Cheryl and I have, a lot. We've been blessed with way more than we deserve. We have friends all over the world that God has connected us with, merged our hearts with, right? From one end of the coast, one side of the coast of this country to the other, from really one side of the globe to the other. Um, we're super excited about the fact that at this age and this point in our lives, uh, God's not done with us. And we have a, a, we're nothing special, but God has used us again to, to be the connection and the merge between a lot of different people in the ministries around the world. I have a lot of friends on, online, right? Um, not like, you know, some superstar, but for, for some nobody, a considerable number of Facebook friends and, and, and YouTube friends and so on. Listen, to date, I know it's new, we're brand new, but to date, our YouTube channel has about less than 60, I think 54 or 5 subscribers to date, right, with the point of this video. And again, I'm not upset, no guilt, no shame. Man, I have no force of any kind, no pressure. But here's what I want to tell you, because most of us, like me, if I hadn't done the research, I wouldn't know, right? Some of you are like, why do you keep asking us to subscribe? Why do you keep asking us to share? Why do you keep asking us to do anything? We just want to watch the stuff. Just show us the stuff, Pastor Nate. Listen, I appreciate that. And I'm a guy that doesn't share a whole lot, honestly. If it's not something I've already looked at and already gone through, I feel like there's a responsibility. I have to know that what I'm sharing is true. I've gotten caught a couple times. It looked good. I read half the article, the bottom half. Man, it embarrassed me, and I had to go out and back and apologize. So I'm not quick to share stuff. I share a lot of stuff, but I'm not quick to share it if I don't absolutely know I can stand behind it. Here's my plea, my request to you. What you probably may or may not know is that YouTube in particular, right? We have three or four channels of, of social media, but their YouTube channel in particular, where this is being filmed and posted first, our YouTube channel, the minute we get over 1,000 subscribers, and I know that sounds like an awful lot, but I got over 1,700 people just on Facebook, right? A thousand subscribers, when that point comes, roughly, somewhere in there, YouTube does something incredibly different, and it's across the board, right? They began to push what we're posting. If we've got a thousand engaged fans, followers, subscribers, whatever you want to call them, a thousand of us, right? If we've got a thousand of us that are engaged, when we post the Bible teachings, we post the truth, and you watch them as often as possible all the way through, but for sure you, you're engaged with them, right? You're leaving a comment, you're, you're sharing it, you're liking it, whatever. At that point, listen, YouTube, the algorithms kick in, and here's what they do. They begin to send that truth that we're posting, that Bible teaching, that gospel. They begin to send it way past, way past anybody you know and have ever heard of, and way past anybody we have ever known and ever heard of. Literally to the tune of four or five hundred a month 
right? And, and it goes exponentially up from there. So listen, people will hear the gospel. People will hear the truth about Jesus Christ all over the world consistently, hundreds of them per week that we have never met and would have no way to connect with otherwise. You see the magnitude of what God can do with that? It is incredible. And, and that has really been our end goal from the beginning. It's like somehow slowly just do the right thing, post it out there, do the right thing, create this discipleship effort, create some, some, some in-context Bible teaching, and I'm proud to do it all. I'm excited about that. But I'm even more excited about what God will do that has nothing really to do with any of us, right? We just do a little that costs us nothing. And in doing so, listen, just with what's already been put in place, God will have an opportunity to use their stuff. And listen, beyond that, somewhere upwards of beyond that, next year or two, they'll actually start sending small checks to On Mission Living because of your engagement. That's true. At, look, ask around. Look, Google it. It's true. Now, here's the thing. That's what's funny is that on YouTube, as far as I know anything about YouTube, the last thing they want to do is support missions of Jesus Christ around the world. Right? That's just the truth. But here's what I know. They will because of the engagement and because of the interest that people like you and I have in Jesus Christ and his truth, right? So I know it's a long-term goal, right? But I want to encourage you. That's what this whole drawing is about, right? We're going to create an incentive. I, I, I'm sorry that, that any of us need it, but we probably do, right? So in a couple of weeks, we'll be coming out with some posts, and we'll show exactly how to enter, exactly what to do. It will cost you no dollars, just a little bit of trouble, right? A little bit of effort. You can unsubscribe anytime, right? But just follow through what we give you in a couple of weeks. And if you'll do that, if you'll subscribe now or then, and, we'll, and there'll be other minor things that we'll add that won't cost you anything. If you'll do that, if you'll partner with us, you will literally be partnering again with Cheryl and I. You'll be partnering with On Mission Living. And the effort will be literally to get the gospel out, to get Bible teaching, to get Bible discipleship, to get gospel training to people we, you, I, you and I together have never met and never will, right? And yet God can still be glorified in getting that message out. So I, I trust that makes more sense, right? Some of you, are, you were just baffled. Like, why would I do a drawing? Why would, what in the world is Pastor Nate up to, right? My methods are all the same. My motives are all the same. It's all about the kingdom, right? So just know that going in. That's what it's about. That's coming up. Yeah, if you haven't already subscribed, I want to encourage you to go to our YouTube channel, On Mission Living YouTube channel. Go to that. Any video, pick this one, any of them, right below it, there'll be a subscribe button. Click that subscribe button if you would. And the little notification bell off to the side, make sure and click all if it gives you a choice. And the purpose is that'll be one piece of what it will take to enter this contest. There'll be a couple other small things, right? But that'll be one piece. And if you're already on, there's no chance of you missing when we post the next video that'll tell about what it takes to actually enter the contest and have a chance to win some big, big prizes. Super excited about that. I trust you are. Um, and again, the biggest thing is more people will know about missions, more people will know about the gospel, more people will know about Jesus, right? And listen, so that's it for this one, uh, this episode of Just Us, first one, first episode, so excited. The rest of them are going to be much, much shorter, but on point, right? And we'll be, we'll be crisp and try to respect your time. Listen, I, I hope you will, again, like this video, share this video, right, whatever you do. Uh, listen, until next time, you know the deal, right? It's so true. On Mission Living is not for just the elite, and it's surely not just for the few. It's for you. Lord bless you.